Uh, Tom Stavenon here in Needville. I grew up about uh, five miles from here in Fairchild. My dad was a farmer there, and uh, I was the last of uh, five boys. And actually, there was 10 of us in the family, uh, five boys, five girls, and I was the youngest boy. So uh, when dad kind of retired, I kind of took over his hay baling operation and tried to farm for a while. And uh, I was also teaching school at the same time, and teachers working 180 days a year had another 180 days to do something else. So I was going to bail hay, do a little farming. And I got into the insurance buildings, selling homeowners insurance. Uh, the uh, agent had retired, and uh, uh, so it's a farm mutual company and a small company. And they anyway, had good success uh, selling insurance, teaching school, uh, bailing a little hay. So I had a pretty good, I stayed busy all the time, no doubt. And uh, um, my dad was a hard worker, so was my mom. and. Uh, very religious Catholic people. Uh, we prayed the rosary at least once a week, and we attended Mass every every Sunday. And so uh, somebody asked me years ago if I'm a reborn Christian, and I said, no, my mom and dad made sure I got it right the first go around. So, uh, but uh, I've been, I guess during the college days, I probably didn't go to church as much as I probably should have. But uh, uh, other than that, I think I've stayed pretty de de devout to the Catholic faith. And uh, uh, I've enjoyed my life. Uh, I taught school, uh, started off at Alvin at the junior high over there. And luckily I had two brothers living in Alvin, both worked for the chemical plant. So I lived with one of my brothers four nights a week and then came home on weekends. And then, uh, uh, that was in 70, 1970. I started teaching in 75. I got a job in Rosenberg with, uh, Lamar school district and spent the next uh, 25 years with Lamar school district. So uh, still, still bailing hay on, uh, uh, during the summertime and uh, selling insurance. And I think it was in '99 where I, when I turned 55, and I had 35. Uh, so I'm sorry, uh, 20, 25 years of teaching. It had to be 35 years of t teaching, and so 30 years, 30 years of teaching. Yeah, that's what it was. 30 years of teaching. I was 55, and that equaled 85. And it, uh, with those uh, two combined, I could retire. So. I said, heck, I'm going to just uh, sell insurance and bail hay. And uh, sure enough, about a year later, a lot of people were disgusted with the uh, county commissioner we had. And I was asked to run for commissioner and never thought I had a chance because the guy who was there had been there 12 years. He was running for a third term, fourth term. And lucky enough, I, I won that election. And at that time, there was no Democrat running. So when they had the primary in uh, March, uh, I was automatically in for <laughs> nine months away. I was going to be a county commissioner. It worked out really well. Uh, I got got rid of my hay equipment, and I made the county commissioner my full time job, which which it is. I mean, you it's seven days a week when you're a commissioner because you get called upon no matter what happens at the county. There's somebody's going to call you about uh, about that incident. But um, anyway, I think it was in um, uh, 01 that I became commissioner in 09. I got voted out by the Democrats, and since then I've been uh, still piddling with the insurance business and uh, uh, no more hay baling, and I got my cows. And uh, I've always been involved with the Knights of Columbus uh, and uh, here at the St. Michael's Church. I've been the uh, elector, rosary leader, uh, altar boy. I still serve, uh, help Father out. Matter of fact, he called me this morning, asked me if I would help him uh, with the service tomorrow for a funeral. And anyway, I'll be assisting Father tomorrow with the uh, with a funeral mass for for a KC member that passed away here a while back. But uh, anyway, uh, been really active with the KCs, the Rosemary Rotary Club, um, the Neville Harvest Festival, and and just uh, I like to be involved. And I don't particularly like going to a meeting. I like participating in a meeting. And, and just uh, I don't like just sitting there and and not take part. So uh, uh, I, I try to stay active. My health has been really good. Uh, can't complain. My knees kind of bother me from time to time but uh other than that uh i'm able to give blood every 10 weeks or whatever it might be and uh that's my doctor checkup is my as long as my blood pressure is good uh, i feel okay and uh but i uh i'm fortunate to have a, such a healthy life don't take any kind of medicine um I haven't taken aspirin in years so uh again i'm really fortunate that the god has blessed me with very good health and uh i'm able to get around you know, no history of cancer or heart problems in our family. So I feel like I'm going to live uh, for you know, quite a while. And so uh, 
I don't want to be one who just sits around the house, and does nothing, and I enjoy my cows. I enjoy deer hunting, fishing, uh, and uh, I want to do a whole lot more traveling in in the, in the future. Uh, uh, I don't particularly like to fly, but I just want to drive. And uh, I've never been to Amarillo, to the Paladira Canyon. I uh, haven't been to Missouri, to Branson, Missouri. And there's a couple places I'd like to go to uh, while I'm still able to drive and, and get around. So, uh, Can you talk about why you don't want to just sit around? and, and Well, you know, so many of my friends, there. yeah, when they retired, they didn't stay that active. And I'm not sure what happened if they got overweight. Or, or they may have had some, some physical problems already before they retired. But. I just want to stay stay active as I possibly can. Uh, my alarm goes off at 6.30, 7 o'clock I'm having coffee with some buddies of mine and 8 o'clock I'm usually back at the house or I may do some running around in the morning, buy some supplies that I might need for that day. But uh, if nothing else, I'm going to ride the fence line, get on my gator and ride the fence line and check for loose wires and, and maybe do some spraying. And uh, It's kind of slow this time of the year. Uh, I don't have to feed the cows any hay right now. and. Uh, it's slow, so I can concentrate on deer hunting right now. And uh, haven't got the big one yet, but I'm I'm gonna get him here pretty quick. I hope. Yeah. How has the faith influenced you? Well, you know, I, I want to go to heaven, <laughs> like everybody else does. And I feel like I owe it to God to to really help him out and, and do some things on his behalf. And and uh, yeah, you know, the more I can do for my community, I feel like I'm doing it in God's name. And so that's why I feel like I'm going to do as much as I can uh, while I'm healthy enough and, and, uh, and uh, do things in God's name. And I pray every Sunday at Mass uh, that uh, thank Him for the, for the week that I had and thank Him for the week that's coming up. And uh, just that, uh, thanks for the, for the strength He's given me to, to uh, be able to do the things I'm able to do right now. For the Mass. And well, yeah, I just, uh, again, I, I don't want to just go to Mass. I want to participate. And I guess I was nine years old when I started uh, being an altar boy. And I used to love Father Peckar because he would let us drink the wine after Mass was over. If there's any wine left over, we, we got to drink it. And But he was a fun priest. We, I got to ride horses with him. And he was fun. And uh, I guess being an altar boy to start out with. And then uh, later on, after being an altar boy, uh, uh, starts being a lector. And, and being a school teacher, uh, I don't mind getting in front of a crowd. And, and talking, so I became a lector and, and uh, you know, rosary leader. And uh, again, like I said earlier, uh, Father had asked me to uh, help him with the mass tomorrow. And uh, from time to time, on on uh, uh, at a service, especially at a funeral, if I find out that there's no uh, altar boy to help Father, I'm more than happy to go up there and uh, and help him um, with the incense and and uh, put the chalice on the altar and bring the water and wine to the altar and just. Uh, Again, I want to participate as much as I can and not just sit back and, and uh, my, if I sit back, I'll probably just fall asleep during Mass. So, uh, but particip participating in a, in a service really means a whole lot to me. Okay, thank you very much. Okay.